correspondence need to be to brought to book? Herr Kollege Stadler. Thank you, Mr. Stadler. Europa must show great caution now, President. We must show great caution in the sense that we can't afford to have a double yardstick when it comes to moral standards. We should also be very careful when dealing with an important NATO and trade partner. In recent years, some of you might remember that Turkey murdered 35 of its own citizens with an air, for air force attack in the Girmak region. We're also aware of what's been going with Armenia. We've also allowed continue to continue with a military dictatorship. We've also failed to demand a withdrawal of Turkish troops in northern Cy Cyprus. We've allowed Turkey to attack the Kurds. We've allowed Erdogan to introduce the Islamic State in Turkey. We've allowed Turkey to... Uh, we've allowed attacks against uh, journalists. And now... We simply want to turn the page of all these young people who've been killed who are demonstrating simply for freedom of speech and democracy. Europe should beware that we don't apply double standards to Turkey because Turkey is a NATO partner and because it's an important trade partner. That's the appeal I would launch to Europe. Thank you, Mrs. Kohola. In the last few weeks, Turkey has witnessed horror in many different forms, most alarmingly systematic and excessive police violence staging broken promises, bribery and threats. Four people have been killed, thousands suffer from injuries, thousands more are detained in questionable conditions, including the lawyers that stood up for the protesters yesterday. Most of it is not reported in Turkey because of downright censure. We have witnessed signs of increasing authoritarianism 